Now at Taco Horn, we have the epic quesadilla and guacamole sour cream bowl plate served with a killer amount of cheese and all white, never frozen, freshly killed chicken. All quesadillas are grilled in a killer amount of Irish butter and served with breakfast style green beans and hash browns, only at Taco Horn. Mm -hmm. Hey you all, it's the Russell Show. Gonna tell you all that you need to know. We'll make it fast, we won't take it slow. Other videos to watch, so you got to go. So grab your ruffles, cause you're hanging out. Russell's best friends to talk about shenanigans. So here we go. It's the Russell Show. It's the Russell Show. Alright, alright, enough of that. Welcome to the Russell Show. The show where we talk about everything unimportant. Show that's completely a waste of your time and mine, but we're gonna do this anyways. And now it's time for the news. Tonight on Russell News, we're talking about a disease that's spreading like wildfire across the country and devastating communities. Of course, we're talking about dumb YouTube comments. In a world where we talk so much about fake news and the issues of fake news, you can actually find the greatest muster of fake news in the YouTube comments section. I mean, let's start off with this comment. This is about the C word. And of course, we're not allowed to talk about the C word on YouTube because only real news sources are allowed to use the C word. And unfortunately, the folks at YouTube <laughs> have not recognized the Russell News as a real news source, unfortunately. I don't know why. But this guy says, this is all political. Remember, the Centers for Disease Control admitted only 6% of people actually died from the C word only. It's being overblown. Now, what's really crazy about this is if there really is a 6% chance, in other words, that's a 1 in 17 chance. Now, since we're not allowed to use the C word, let's just put it on another, another perspective. Let's just say that the Chicago O'Hare Airport you know, handles 6.5 million suitcases on any given day. And they destroyed 6% of their suitcases. That'd be a 1 in 17 chance that your suitcase would be destroyed. The baggage handlers would destroy your suitcase. Would you trust the Chicago airport to handle your luggage if they told you, hey, there's a 1 in 17 chance that your suitcase is going to be destroyed? That's 6%. Now, if you wouldn't trust them, the Chicago Air airport with your suitcase, why would you trust your life in the current situation if it really is 6%? Now, of course, we know it's not really 6%. Because if really the Chicago airport is actually just destroying 195,000 suitcases on any given day of 6.5 million, which actually comes to about 3%, even so, that's still like about a, like a 1 in 35 chance. Would you trust the Chicago airport airport um, with your suitcase if it was a 1 in 35 chance? Maybe you would. Maybe you would. But 1 in 17? I don't know. So the fact that this guy is saying that you have a 1 in 17 chance that you're going to die and that's being overblown, that just doesn't make any sense. His percentage is off. His reasoning is off. He's crazy. This is a crazy YouTube comment. All right, so we're off. We're going to go get some uh, ingredients to make some pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. And uh, should be fun. Should be fun, fun, fun. Yeah, going over all these YouTube comments just kind of made me think, you know, what the real issue is. It's just everybody just so angry you know and passionately angry and i'm just like left versus right and 
It's just, uh, just don't think it's all healthy. With crazy comments like, like these. Oh, everybody's always trying to find a way to like, you know, hate other people and argue with other people. And, and I, I just don't think this is all good, you know? I don't really like hanging out in a house with people all tense and everyone's nervous, you know? Everyone's nervous, everyone's angry, everyone's passionate, you know? But, you know, one of the things people have to realize is we're all brainwashed. And if you don't believe you're brainwashed, well, you are brainwashed. <laughs> you know, we have ideas, ideologies, you know, even religion. We have these things that we're brought up with, these beliefs, our experiences. The human brain is just so fragile and, and that causes us to have opinions, to have thoughts. You know and being able to like step back and recognize that you know maybe your thoughts maybe your opinions maybe your beliefs aren't perfect aren't the universal truth you know that that everyone needs that everyone wants in this world you know that you even need that you even want in this world isn't exactly good or, or healthy for you or for the United States or for your fellow man, for your neighbor, you know? And so you see comments on YouTube, like these comments, and it's just like all this fighting. It's this left versus right. It's, it's the up versus down. It's the triangle versus square. It's whatever it is. I don't think it's good for everybody. So I'm asking the people uh, who watch my show, The Russell Show, you know, just take a take a notch down. Wherever you are, wherever, however fired you up you are, or even in your life with your relationship with other people, with others, just ask yourself, how, how can I take it just a notch down, you know? Not, not try to <laughs> build this fire. It's not about, you know, who's right or who's wrong. It, it's just about being a human being and understanding that we're not perfect and understanding that our beliefs might not actually be, you know, what's actually correct or what's best and that we might be mistaken. We might be wrong. We might have heard something wrong. We might have been fed the information incorrectly and we're having biases and judgments based on that, those experiences. And there's just so much hate, so much hate. And I think it's time to like, you know, if you find yourself hating, I think you need to find yourself, find that way, that path of unhating. I think you should take my advice, take my advice to take it down a notch. I think it'll be healthier for you. I think it'll be healthier for your family. I think it'll be healthier for your friends. I think it'll be healthier for your life, your job, your career to not just get so passionately angry at others, at people's differences, to try to find compassion and understanding. And I think you'll be much happier. I think you'll feel better. So, you know, next time you find yourself on that YouTube, you know, about to write that comment that you know, you know deep down inside, half the world's population is going to get upset about. Just tell yourself, you know what? It's just not worth it. Just not worth it. You know, instead, I'm just going to write, you know, I hope all you have a good day, you know? A lot of people are upset. A lot of people are angry. We're living in a tough situation. 2020 is not an easy year for anybody. Face mask and social distancing just find the thing that you need to make you happy and stop being so negative stop with the hate and stop being passionately angry in your life and stop being and start <laughs> start being um you know compassionate
passionately compassionate <laughs> for uh, other people in your life. And I think you'll be, you'll feel a lot better. All right, love everybody. Peace out from the Russell Show. All right, well, that's all we're going to have for this episode. Be sure to check out later this week. We're going to have some extra videos come out. Uh, we're going to show how to make pumpkin pie. We're also going to hang out with my good friend Brian. And be sure to check out those videos coming out later this week. All right, peace out. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete, and I love you so. Love me tender, love me true, oh my dreams fulfill for my darling I love you and